De Russo will be looking to improve on that five years ago when he was narrowly edged out by the Brazilian. Tanner Wright, a new experience for him. Going from lane nine, inside him, De Souza Lima, De Russo in seven, Junior in six, Wang in five, Ferreira dos Santos will go in four, Ishida in three, Galadima in two, Nigeria. Away with no issues at all, and De Roos got away reasonably quick, but on the onside of him, Washington Jr. is looking very fast, but here comes Patricio Dos Santos. It is Dos Santos who gets it, and Patricio Ferreira Dos Santos does it back to back. A wonderful time and a new Paralympic record of 10.53 seconds. So he takes four one-hundredths of a second of his own mark that he set when winning gold five years ago. De Roos has picked up yet another silver coming in just behind and it's a Brazil 1-3 with Washington Jr. taking the bronze medal in a time of 10.68 seconds but that man there he maybe got away a bit slower than he wanted to but he certainly powered home to take the victory Saying hello to the family back home. Drus has taken the Polish flag. He's happy with back-to-back -back silver medals at two Paralympic Games. Certainly ran a better final than he did uh, his semi. And congratulations offered around the place. Drus, that was a strong race from him. 10.61, 10.68 for Washington Jr. And 10.53 for Petruccio. Well, Dos Santos is the back-to-back -back Paralympic champion. An interesting story. He was known as playing futsal for his school team. He signed up to compete at his school event. He won despite having never trained and using borrowed shoes. And there was always going to be talent there, wasn't there? Well, he was third at that point, And then he's just motored away. Probably the best start came from uh, Galadima in two. But he was uh, passed by most of the field. Crucio, yeah. Wang in fourth place probably could have done with another 10 metres because he maybe might have caught the Brazilian and picked up a bronze medal, but no one was going to catch that man. Absolutely no one. Quite a stunning middle 30 or 40 metres. They know where the clock is, don't they? It's that their eyes go straight there as soon as they chest the line. Well, all right, they had something worked out clearly. I'm not sure about the hat, <laughs> Patricia, where that's come from but it's a statement of sorts. Well, there is the start. You can see that it's Washington Jr. who gets away quickest of all. That period there, that is where Patricio manages to just reel them in and head past his compatriot, head past Mikhail De Roos, who has a look across. De Roos, I think, at one point there, thought he had it. Mm. He thought he had it. He looked across. He saw that man there, Ferreira dos Santos, coming out the corner of his eye, and he realised at that point the game was up. 10.53, a new Paralympic record. Another record has been smashed here at Tokyo 2020. He smashed his own record, though. As De Roos, once he caught Washington Jr., I think he thought he had it. That's not to say for a second that he relaxed at all, but couldn't do much about the finish of Petruccio. He just swamped them with about five metres to go. What a wonderful result for Brazil. They pick up gold and bronze through Patricio Ferreira dos Santos and Washington Jr. and Mikhail Deroux sandwiched in between with a new lifetime best of 10.61, picks up the silver.